This video is on graphing lines using the slope intercept form of a line. Y equals mx plus b is your slope intercept form of a line. The m is your slope and the b is the y intercept. Those are the only two pieces of information you need to be able to graph a line. The b, the y intercept of 2, you can think of the b stands for begin here. So on the y axis we put a point at 2 because that is our y intercept. From there, we want to count a slope of one-third. Slope is rise over run. So from that point, I'm counting up one and to the right one, two, three, and make a big dot. I can count that slope again. Up one, to the right one, two, three. I could continue that until I run out of space, but three points is enough to make my line fairly accurate. Now, I just want to graph my line, make the line go through the three points, and that is your line using the slope intercept. Another example, y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 1. Has a y intercept of positive 1. Put your first dot there. That slope is negative 3 fourths. I think it's easier if you let the negative go up with the top. So from there I need to go down 1, 2, 3, and over to the right 1, 2, 3, Four. We went right because the 4 was positive. We let the negative go with the top. So count it again, down 1, 2, 3. Count to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my three points. Those are enough for me to get a reasonable line. And that is the line y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 1. Now, sometimes you have a slope that doesn't look like a fraction. It would be a good idea to give this a denominator of 1 so that you preserve the idea of rise over 1. This one has a y-intercept of negative 3, so on the y-axis I go down 3 and put my first point. Now I want to count my slope of 4 over 1. Up 1, 2, 3, 4, to the right 1, put your dot. Count it down again, up 1, 2, 3, 4, to the right 1. So now I can draw my line through those three points. I missed a little, so we'll have to adjust the line, but you got the idea. If the equation of the line is not in slope-intercept form, you want to put it in slope-intercept form to be able to do the graph. So I started out here with the equation 3x plus 4y equals 8. We're trying to solve for the y. That means get this y alone. And here's the steps. We subtracted 3x from both sides, which means that cancels out. It brought the 3x over to the right side. So now I have this, 4y equals negative 3x plus 8. I don't have the y alone until I divide everything by 4, which eventually gives me this equation, which is in slope-intercept form, and now I can graph. It has a y-intercept of 2 has a slope of negative 3 over 4. I'm counting down 1, 2, 3, to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. Put your second dot, count it again. Down 1, 2, 3, to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. Draw your line through those points and see if I can hit. Okay, one more of those. Not in the right form, so I need to put it in the right form. I'm trying to solve for y. First step, subtract 2x from both sides. Makes those x's cancel out, and I have negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. y is not alone yet. To get y alone, divide everything by negative 3. The negative 3's cancel here. A negative 2 divided by negative 3 is a positive 2 thirds. 6 divided by negative 3 is a negative 2. So my y-intercept is negative 2. Put my first point on the y-axis at negative 2. Count my slope of positive 2 thirds. Up 2 to the right 1, 2, 3. Up 2 to the right 1, 2, 3. Connect those dots with a line. And I'm finished.